The avian flu, called H5N1, began spreading in 2022 when wild birds have carried it coast to coast, devastating chicken farms and dairy farms. The relatively few humans who have caught it from animals have not gotten terribly sick, but in the U.S. there is reason for concern. In humans, there have been uh, to date about 66, I believe, confirmed cases of uh, avian flu H5N1. Alessandro Sete is a researcher at the La Jolla Institute for Immunology. He says if the avian flu jumped to humans and started spreading among them, it could be a serious pandemic because the flu people are used to fighting off is a different variety of flu known as H1. That's why people are scared that if this start to spread into humans, people would not have antibodies against H5. But new research from Sete's lab shows we are not defenseless against H5N1. They found that T-cells in our blood do recognize and target the bird flu, which means we do have some protection against it. Our research in general has shown that T-cells play an important role not in preventing infection, but in making uh, disease less severe. The bird flu has created such a dire situation on poultry and cattle farms in California that Governor Newsom has declared a state of emergency. Right now, the damage is mainly economic, but Sete says until the flu is brought under control among animals, the potential risk of a human pandemic is real. Viruses mutate all the time, and the more virus is produced in uh, infected animals, the more there is a chance. Another creature very susceptible to avian flu are cats, wild and domestic. In Washington state, the bird flu reportedly killed 20 big cats at a wildlife sanctuary, including four cougars and a tiger. Thomas Fudge, KPBS News.